Team Sonia is an undergraduate student project which goal is to build an autonomous underwater vehicle. It is currently composed of 20 engineering students from École de Technologie Supérieure in Montreal, Canada. ETS is an engineering school that stands out with its practical approach while learning through hands-on projects with the goal to prepare its graduate for the industry. Members of the team come from different engineering specialties, such as software, electrical, mechatronics, and logistics engineering. One of the main goals of the mechanical team was to integrate the front camera inside the main hole. This was done by redesigning the front cap to make it fit with the new camera enclosure. The result was a more aerodynamic front section, a lighter vehicle, and an improved stability of the enclosed camera. The pneumatic system was also redesigned to eliminate leaking problems. With these new improvements, the mechanical platform is much more efficient and robust. This year, the software team worked on a new machine vision software based on the system used in the previous years. Developed on the robot operating system, this software allows us to have live streaming of the onboard cameras while applying vision algorithms and visualizing their results. The in-house software ecosystem is completed by additional tools to improve the development productivity and to manage the AUV during tests. One of them is the telemetry software, which offers a broad range of interactive widgets and tools to monitor and control the vehicle. The main task of the electrical team is to assure the communication between the different sensors with a CAN protocol, manage the power supply of the AUV, and maintain the whole electronics platform. The main hall is composed of three sections. The front section contains the onboard computer, the droppers, and the bottom camera. The central section receives all the external signals and contains a depth meter and the main navigation sensor, the Doppler velocity log. The back section deals with the custom electronics, such as the navigation board, which controls the devices and receives data from the sensors, the power management unit, and the hydrophone board. Apart from the technical aspect of the project, building an AUV requires external help, such as sponsorship and visibility. This is where the business team comes in. Working on the recruitment and the image of the team in the university, their main goal is to recruit new team members each year and make sure that the whole team is always operational. They are also in charge of contacting the sponsors, which are a really important part of the project. They give us the opportunity to build and test our AUV all year long. With this year's improvement and enhanced capabilities of the vehicle, we are ready for the RoboSub Challenge. See you in San Diego.